Hi, it's Maria Christine again from the Gold Coast and we're trying to take you out of the usual places in Rome. So today we are going to go to a very special place that is very close to my heart where a lot of movies have been shot which must tell you something about the place itself. I'm taking you out of the major Roman walls. So you're still in pretty much in the center of Rome but you are out of the Aurelian walls. You are going to a place called the Piazza Quadrata. The Italian translation exactly comes out as square square. Why are you going to square square? It's actually called the Piazza Buenos Aires. So square Buenos Aires, Buenos Aires square. Now you can go there if you are of Argentinian background uh, because the Argentinian church is there and it's beautiful you can visit it but really you want to go there because uh, there is a whole area built uh, around 1915 that is called the Quartiere Coppede. Now the, this Quartiere Coppede is a very fancy um, area that has been decorated by and, and created by an architect called Gino Coppede. Now he had the task of uh, uh, making it look like ancient Rome. Now, the inspiration was ancient Rome, but the place doesn't look like ancient Rome at all. It looks like uh, Art Nouveau or, yeah, Art Nouveau. And it's really, really interesting because it's not generally what you will find in Rome. The palaces are one different from the other. The decorations, uh, uh, all the palaces are painted with uh, exquisite details and um, you are not going to believe me if I told you what's on them. Uh, one is called the, the Little Villa of the Fairies, just to give you an example. And uh, you can go all around the area to find more and more palaces uh, decorated uh, in this Art Nouveau Italian Roman style. Why am I very attached to this area? Because one of these palaces was actually my high school, the Liceo Scientifico Avogadro, Scientific Lyceum. And um, so what we used to do is, you know, this was home for us. So it never looked particularly stunning. As a lot of things in Rome, uh, the Colosseum never looked particularly stunning to me because when I was in high school and at uni, we used to go there at night having picnics and having bringing uh, I cornetti, the croissants and guitars and going to the Colosseum inside at night with our friends to sing songs and, and look at the stars. Uh, so in a way we Romans are completely in love with Rome and very blasé at the same time. If you happen to go to Piazza Buenos Aires and Il Quartiere Coppede, I strongly suggest you go, you take it further on, keep go back to the same bus and go further out until you get to the Catacombe di Santa Priscilla, the Catacomb of Saint Priscilla. Another spectacular set of catacombs. And when you're done with them, then get right in front of the catacombs, there is a beautiful park, majestic, that is called the Villa Ada, Villa Ada Savoia, Villa Ada Savoy, which was a member of the Savoy family, the kings of Italy. You can spend hours in this park. You can also rent bicycles in there and, and walk around and bike around the park. Um, on the far end of the park, there is a beautiful lake. Uh, there is also, with, you'll find squirrels, uh, you'll find turtles uh, in the little river, in the little lake you are also going to find uh, the Temple of Flora and uh, um, horses. So if you're tired of Villa Borghese or any other of the beautiful parks in the center of Rome, come out to Villa Ada. That's where we spent many happy afternoon playing. If you want to know more about Rome, go and have a look at the other videos, subscribe, like this video and share it with your friends and uh, if you want even more you can download my book for free or buy it on amazon if you want it for free it's on uh, uh, it's online at romanheim.com.au forward slash book 
if you want a whole course on Rome and its history and art so that you don't get overwhelmed when you're there, go to romanhome.com.au forward slash video course. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next videos. Ciao!